welcome back to another random adventure in Costa Rica. I'm going to finish up my time here at the Bali Hot Springs with a quick walkthrough of the facility. Starting at the front of the entrance, we have one of the smaller bar pools seen here. And you will also find the lower restaurant. And as you can tell here, the path has a gentle upward grade. It's a very gentle slope, so it's not difficult to walk up and down. And just walking between the various pools is a nice experience. The pathways are well maintained and there's all this lovely foliage to look at. So even though this is all obviously man-made and maintained, there is a naturalistic vibe to it. Like this little guy, or big guy depending on your view, reminds me of my walk that I had at the Lancaster Gardens. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. This pool is the very first one you come across. It has the lowest temperature, not to say that it's cold or cool, it's just more like typical warm bath water. And it had this small waterfall, so you know I had to sit underneath it for a few minutes. This next pool is a little bit bigger and a little bit warmer. And there was a couple there trying to spend some time together, so I kind of awkwardly just cut through as quickly as I could, so I didn't bother them. I spent more time on the back half of this pool that has a little island in the middle of it. This is the same pool that had the couple. I'm just approaching it from the opposite side from the other entrance. Here we're approaching the entrance to the sauna pool. And this is the entrance to what I call the slide pool. We'll come back and revisit this at the end of this video. There is one pool that I didn't spend any time in because it's mainly for kids. And I felt it would be awkward to be a grown man filming in the kids section. Even though there didn't seem to be any kids in there. But I am a little envious because it does look like the kids section is a lot of fun. They have this really fun water mechanic, what I assume is a less intense uh, water slide, but more on that later. Okay, wait for it. Here it comes. Right now. That looks like a lot of fun to me as an adult, so I'd imagine for kids it's really cool. I found this guy and he reminded me of the butterflies from my time at the La Paz Waterfall Park. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. This open section here is actually for helicopters to land in. And this upper area is where they have all the cabanas and the rooms for people who are staying overnight. If we keep walking to the very top of the hill, we get to the upper restaurant. There's nothing really interesting about the restaurant itself except that it's elevated and it has this really cool wooden tunnel entrance. Now I've mentioned what I refer to as the slide pool multiple times now, which implies that there are slides, which there are. And unlike the slide in the kids section, which I assume is kid friendly, these slides are a little bit more intense. Now I must be getting old or something because as I saw people shooting out of the slides, I got more of a feeling of dread than excitement. But I climbed up to the top and I asked the attendant for the slide that was less intense and a little bit easier to handle. So I hopped in and this was the result. No, I thought the intendant was maybe playing a prank on me because that felt pretty intense. So I went back to the top and decided I would go down the first one because it was just straight with no curves. And I figured this would be less terrifying. I was wrong. I realized too late that going down this slide is like falling off the edge of a building. <laughs> Needless to say, I didn't try going down the middle slide because that was enough excitement for me. This video was the last of the random adventures in Costa Rica. Hope you enjoyed them. I do plan on going back to Costa Rica this year and hopefully we'll have some more adventures to share with you. And until next time, take care.